Hi guys, Scott Woodward with you and we're going to talk about the reigning premiers, the Melbourne Storm and uh, how do you beat uh, arguably the best spine in the history of rugby league football and arguably the best coach in the game. Um, if he's not the best coach uh, at the moment, he certainly will be the best coach by the time he retires. Uh, Craig Bellamy, just a wonderful guy and it's you don't want to take him on whether you're a punter or whether you're an opposition team. He just does his homework so well and he ticks off every box and he's just a very, very competitive guy and his teams play accordingly. But let me say, history says that teams can't go back to back and teams can't go to England uh, and come back and then win the Premiership. No team has gone over to England and played in the World Club Championship and come back and won the Premiership this century. Um, and no team has gone back to back in the NRL uh, since 97, 98 when the Broncos did it. So history and all the stats that you look at say that the Melbourne Storm cannot win the Premiership this year and yet they're the roaring hot favourites to do so. So uh, back them at your own peril if you like. I personally want to see how they travel with injuries. I want to see how they get through the state of origin and um, just see how some of their key players go. I'll say one thing though, they have a better team, a better list, a better 25 this year than what they had last year when they won the Premiership. Uh, they, had a, they had a run of uh, five consecutive uh, losing games last year, which was the worst in the club's history, and they overcome that right at the right time because they're such a class act, um, and they got in the semi-finals, and they were lucky enough to fall um, uh, into the top four, and they'll be able to get two up two home games down in Melbourne and that made all the difference and that got them into the grand final and then they, they were just too well organised. Uh, Cooper Cronk was the only genuine halfback in the grand final and um, that got them home. That was the edge that they had in the grand final. Uh, just an incredible club, an, an incredible culture and um, everyone will know that they're in a game, it doesn't matter where they've been, what they've done. Um, let's talk about the players um, and I want to talk about um, some really interesting players um, some of the great buys that the Melbourne Storm have got this year um, and some of the losses. And I don't think their losses are going to hurt them. Um, look, they've lost their centre, Nelson, to the Warriors. I don't think he gave many anything in attack. He's certainly a good defensive centre, but they've got a heap of uh, good centres. Their back line depth is just enormous. I've never seen it so good. Uh, and they're in really, really good shape. This is a very, very well-managed football club. Let's talk about their team. Uh, Billy Slater, arguably the greatest fullback of all time. Uh, he will back up again, of course, uh, and he'll combine with uh, Cooper Cronk and Gareth Widdop and obviously their captain, Cam Smith. That's probably the best spine that any club would ever want to see. Gareth Widdop plays for England, and it's just an outstanding spine. But the good thing is, normally I would say if any one of those guys go down, they're in trouble. But we're going to talk about some of the depth that they've got. Um, now, in the origin where we can expect that uh, Billy Slater, uh, Cooper Cronk and Cam Smith will be gone for three three games. Um, I think that they will be very well served during origin um, where in previous years they've struggled. And um, the, the recruitment guys uh, combined with the coach have really thought about it and they've thought about origin and they've thought about who can play for these three games during origin. Um, the obvious big pick up there is Brett Finch uh, who will come in and, and play halfback uh, and replace Cooper Cronk. Uh, that, that, will, that will allow, um, I would think, uh, Duffy uh, to go to fullback or uh, Gareth Widdop to go to fullback and um, will, will allow guys like Morris Blair or someone like that to come in at six. Uh, they're going to be in really good shape uh, and they'll still have a very competitive side during Origin. Um, their, full, their, 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 um, their wings, I think one will be Matt, Matt Duffy and the other one will be uh, Sisa Waka. Um, he's much better than what I thought he was uh, and he had a, an absolute breakout year last year. Sisa went fantastic. Matt Duffy gives them a dimension that they haven't had um, for many years. He's unbelievable with a bomb. Uh, I, I, I don't know of a guy in the NRL that takes a bomb better than Matt Duffy. He gets up above everybody and uh, when you've got a guy who kicks so accurately as Cooper Cronk um, kicking in Matt Duffy's wing, um, that's an enormous uh, point of attack for the Melbourne Storm. So he'll be one of the wings with Sisawaka. They've got a lot of um, backup depth in that side. Uh, some of the young kids, 
um, uh, Maha uh, Fanua played last year, uh, went fantastic, very promising. Uh, if they have any injuries, he'll come in and he'll make his presence felt. A big blockbuster and uh, one of their promising young kids, um, Avua, uh, uh, I pronounced it incorrectly, uh, A-U-V-A, uh, we'll call him, uh, Ava. Uh, I'm sure you'll be hearing plenty of him in years to come. He's a great young kid. And um, he plays on the wing, but I think uh, Sissa will be holding that spot out. Uh, in the centres, uh, with Nelson gone, um, I'll be very surprised if Justin O'Neill doesn't replace him. Uh, and Will Chambers, I think, will be in start of origin contention for Justin Hodges' spot. Uh, if, if based on form, Will, Hod Will Chambers is Queensland's best right centre, in my opinion. Um, and he's, he's, he's picked up his defence. Um, an absolute credit to the coaching staff. He had some problems in defence. He's now a very good defensive centre, and we all, he's always been great in attack. He can bust tackles, and he's fast. An outstanding centre, Will Chambers. Justin O'Neill is one of the most athletic guys in the club, um, and he can play several positions, um, wing, or back, or centre. I think he'll hold down the centre position, and I expect him to oust uh, Junior Sal, who they got from Newcastle. Uh, one full pickup. Junior Sal uh, has got some problems in defence, but he's a genuine um, attacking centre and nice to have him to come in if they have any problems. So you can see they've got some great depth in that area. Just talking about their depth, and we're talking about the origin, I wouldn't be surprised. Their big pickup for me is Kurt Mann. They got him from Newcastle. I don't know how Newcastle let him go. I don't know how much he cost, but I can't believe Newcastle let him go. Newcastle, um, um, while they've got a, a, a very good six and seven, they haven't got anyone as promising as this guy, Kurt Mann. And I, I think um, if the Storm can hang on to him, I think he's going to be around for a long, long while. And let's hope that he gets to play six. Let's hope Gareth Whittup goes to full back and he comes in and he plays the sixth position. Uh, he was in under 20s last year. We saw him in the Origin um, uh, under 20s team, and uh, he's just an absolute gun. Uh, got got zip zip speed and very elusive when he runs the ball. And uh, un, under Bellamy, I'd like to think that he'll improve his organisation talents as well. So that's one of the big ins for the Storm. Um, and I think we might see him play three games uh, this year at least. Uh, he certainly won't be coming into this starting side at this stage of proceedings unless there's an injury. The forwards, um, Jesse Bromwich keeps on um, improving. I think he'll be one of the props along with Jason Riles. Um, and you'll probably find that um, guys like uh, Kenny Bromwich, uh, Lagi Setu, who I have a, a high opinion of, uh, welcome back to rugby league uh, before he, he um, went on religious duties. I think he's a, a, a terrific player. And if he can pick up the speed of rugby league, uh, I, I'm sure he'll be a, a gimme in the storm side every week. We talked about Brett Finch. Uh, he's just a great guy to have around the club. He's a great talker. Players love having him in their club. And uh, he'll come in. He can play six or seven whenever there's an injury for Bellamy. And um, he's such an experienced player, can read a game well, um, and, 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 a, and a good tactical kicker. Uh, just a wonderful pickup by the Storm. Uh, Morris Blair uh, has got similar sort of skills, but I'll be surprised if Bellamy doesn't favour um, Brett Finch in that area. Uh, Morris Blair could even come in and play right forward if he has to. Um, Siosaya Bave is another guy who um, had a good year last year, um, and I think he'll be valuable for them. Junior Moores, I think, is an excellent pickup, got good skills, and I like some of the things that I saw him do last year. And we can see, like most players, they go to the Melbourne Storm, we see him go to the next level. And if Junior Moores can do that, um, they're going to have a very, very good player, a very, very good picker. Um, Tim uh, Gillespie is a guy I've heard good things about, and um, he will be in contention if there's any injuries um, to come on the bench for the Melbourne Storm. So, um, look, there it is for me. Uh, I'm prepared to say that the Melbourne Storm can't win the grand final, only because I put a lot of emphasis on stats um, and what's happened in past years. But if any team... Um, can go back to back in this day and age where the salary cap has made made the competition so competitive. Uh, the Melbourne Storm can, um, under this incredible spine that they've got, and under this incredible coach and culture that he's built up in this club. Uh, so uh, you'd be a fool to say that they can't win again. You'd be a fool to say that they 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 can't go to England and play in the World Cup Championship against Leeds, uh, which will be a very very competitive side. And then come back here play, play um, in an Anzac Day test match, play in three state of origin games and still be nice and fresh for the semi-finals. Uh, you'd have to think that that's an extremely big ask. 
But if any team can do it, the Melbourne Storm can do it. I'm prepared to say that they can, they can win this grand final, but I'm also prepared to say at the price they are at the moment, I can't possibly be on them, and I'll be looking for other teams in my future spending. Uh, good luck if you're from Melbourne. Um, you've had a big ride, and I'm sure you'll go class again this year. Cheers.